Mike Rotundo, all over the news yesterday, did an amazing job of defending himself. Um, he is a Camillus man uh, who lives with his parents. Uh, his parents apparently have decided to kick him out, evict him. And he ended up in court trying to stay and not be evicted. The judge did not rule in his favor. And Mike Rotundo, thanks for coming on the radio. What happened yesterday? Uh, well, I made the case that um, I'm entitled to a six-month notice to quit. Yeah. And uh, the judge disagreed. Um, basically, and ironically, um, from the first notice I got, the February 2nd notice, and from uh, still, when, when I'm seeking to, to be able to be allowed to stay, yeah, that's going to amount to six months. So, And that's when I'll have the ability to get out. So it, it, even though the judge kind of... Um, Oh, so you think he might have actually kind of ruled in your favor, really, at the end of the day? Well, uh... Probably not. Kind of. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. Um, yeah, by one the way, of the it, things that well, I was also yeah. trying to do is I was trying to make it so that anyone who was, you know, who, uh... Obviously, uh, obviously I'm sympathetic to people who who uh, live with their parents. Yeah. And yeah. Um, so one of the things I, I wanted to do was I wanted to make it so <clears> that the February 2nd notice wasn't considered a six-month notice to quit, even though, it, because it clearly Got it. Is, is, not, is basically nothing. So I, I, I really uh, want... Yeah. Uh, I think you were trying to, obviously, uh, prove a point for others as well. I have to tell you, um, each of us here, all four of us here at one time in our lives lived with our parents. I just wanted to let you know that. So we have something in common. <laughs> Mike, can we take a step back? And we do totally want to get your perspective, but can you help us understand, was this a situation where your parents... You did something wrong. You were holding parties. You were disrupting the household, and they said, okay, you have to get out. Or is it a case of they said you're 30, you need to be on your own, and you need to get out? What's your relationship well, really, like with your parents, and how did this come to be? Well, it's neither of, of what you proposed. I don't, I don't have parties. I don't really you know, make any uh, – I don't, I don't cause any disturbance here while yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, it's not – you know, because, you know, you're 30, you know, after, because it's been eight years. And all of a sudden, with this matter with my son, mm-hmm. um, you know, then all of a sudden, two days after, the, the February 2nd notice was served two days after um, uh, my parents, uh, the first appearance in court for my parents' action for visitation with my son. Okay. And I'm finding, after, you know, talking because, you know, I've, I've been living the situation myself, and I have my perspectives from the entire situation. Sure. I'm finding that people um, need to hear that uh, after I've lost my uh, custody visitation of my son in September, uh, October is when I, I started getting threats from my parents. You know, listen, you know, we, it, either you're going to uh, get a job, get a full-time job, get health insurance, or we're going to throw you out of the house. And then, like, a month or so after that, uh, they said, "All right, well, we, you know, we'll just give you. What if you just get? If you just get health insurance, we'll let you stay." Yeah. And <clears> the, well, this is you know this whole thing is going on. I mean, I'm, my son is my whole world, and I was yeah. trying yeah. to make so that I can start seeing him again through um, through getting a stay. Are you not? Are you not allowed to see your son? I, there's this very circumspect circumstance in which mm-hmm. I'm allowed. Here's okay. what it is. Yeah. The if uh, there is a therapist or otherwise a mental health professional mm. who is supervising the time I have with my son and his mother approves of the the the, the, the circum that, that same circumstance yeah that's a lot I can yeah. I can then see him and what I did mm-hmm. right after the you know the ruling I, guess I there was the ruling where I, you know I, I could only see him under these circumstances I uh, I called uh, a bunch of uh, therapists and, and such, and uh, none of them were, were able, to, were, were really interested, and I found it so heartbreaking trying to, doing this, trying to make it so that I could still have him, yeah, you know, yeah. be a part of my life yeah. and still see him, that I, it really undermined uh, my ability to appeal. I understood, yeah. So I, I, I tried to do that for, for as long as I could, and then I, you know, I said, you know, I can't, I can't so, keep trying to do this. Sure, sure, and you moved back, so it was eight years ago you moved back into your parents' house? That's correct. Okay, and it was after. Was there a split up? Were you married to the uh, to your son's mom at any point, or were you no. together? 
You guys were never together. And, right. uh, and um, okay, so at what point, uh, so you've been there for eight years. At what point did your parents say, you got it, this is not working, you gotta, you're going to have to leave? When did they tell you that? Uh, the, well, that would be the first notice uh, for the decision that they didn't want me to. They were threatening with, uh, with it since about October. Like I was okay, saying, since and October. Then the, the decision <clears throat> was the February 2nd notice. Yeah. And you haven't had a job. They're saying you hadn't had a job. Um, and I've had, I've had, I've had work. Yeah. What, what does that mean? Could you talk about that? When you say um, you've had work, I've, I've, well, um, there's a lot of the, a lot of my work history revolves around, um, I don't want to blame my son for the fact that I don't have a well-established, you know, job right now, but sure. he was a, he was a baby and I would, I would get him for three full days a week. And, uh, with three full days out of the week, Two of them weekdays that I'm not available. It's really it was really hard to find uh, full time employment. Yeah, and uh, understood. So I mean, I don't want to blame the fact that you know I had a, a child who was not in school for the fact that I you know I couldn't have a job sure. uh, a full time job. How old is your son now, by the way? I'm not disclosing that he's grade school aged. Okay. okay, all right. Okay, and, and what that's is what your, I was trying to understand yeah. if, the, if if <clears throat> this was a recent thing with your son or if this was why yeah, you moved yeah. in with your parents. So um, it was after after I moved into my parents, I became a father. How okay, okay. okay. so afterwards, so okay, about eight, okay. Yep. all right. And uh, I had to move in with my parents because I lost a, uh, I lost a job previous to that, and okay. um, they they invited me to that. I could, they told me I could live with them. Okay, and um, so. I, I, I think I was watching an inter- interview with uh, with you, uh, either TV or with the Post Standard, and you were talking about how you really haven't had much contact with your parents over eight years. You live in the same house, but you guys don't talk a lot, right? Correct. And uh, that's got to be difficult. Did you have a good relationship prior to this with your parents? Not really. Yeah. Um, so t- your whole for- life you didn't have a good your relationship with your parents? Uh. I've had um, not with my father. I've had a, a reasonable, a reasonable go. Uh, I've had a reasonable um, relationship with my mother. I would say that I've had, you know, okay. I was, effectively right. I've had a relationship with my mother for for um, most of my life. Is um, your father saying to your mother, "Oh my God, we're we are babying this kid. We've got he's got to get out on his own. Stop giving him money, et cetera, et cetera." Is that what he's saying? They've never given me money. Oh, they've never uh, given you money. No. They, well, the roof they, over your head and, you know. The, it'd be the roof, the food, and, you know, the expense of, like, hot water and electricity. Did he ever get mad when you went to the refrigerator? Oh, they, actually, and, they, yeah. they had given me money years and years and years ago. Okay. There was a time uh, shortly after I became a father where I would I would get, uh, you know, $10 and, you know, for gas. Yeah, sure. Oh, and I was provided with it. And they, uh, my father bought a, years and uh, many years ago. My father bought a car for me, and this is like how many years? This has got to be like ten yeah, years ago, yeah. maybe longer. Do you think he should have given uh, you? Do you think he should have given you money and given you more? Do you think he didn't give you enough? How? So, how uh, you're referring? I'm referring to money over, like, over the course of like our relationship, oh, okay. uh, right. inclusive of like the past. 10 or 15 years, okay. right. you're talking about money recently. I'm saying money recently. Do you think they should have helped you recently, uh, given you money to get on your feet, to go out get another apartment? Should they have paid for that apartment? Do you feel that you're Did, entitled to that? Didn't they offer to pay that? No. It was reported that they, they had offered well, to pay. He's saying he doesn't feel you. Okay. Uh, but I'm asking, did, did they offer to did pay they your offer, rent? Did they offer to pay your rent? No. Okay. I did read that somewhere. Did they me. offer to pay your expenses Where? to move out? Um it's it's been Don't around. Don't get upset with me. Yeah, no, that's we didn't report it. I I'll look it up. Yeah, we're gonna look it up. So I just want to, if you I can, I want to ask for that. timeline's sake. Um, so we're talking, by the way, to uh, his name is Mike Rotundo. He's from Camillus. Uh, his parents. He's thirty years old. Lives with his parents, and his parents evicted him yesterday. It was in Supreme Court. It's been all over the news. So so again, so you you became a father shortly after you moved in with your parents. At what point did you lose custody, and was that what prompted your parents to finally say you've got to you've got to move out on your own? Uh, I lost custody and visitation uh, the end of September this past year, and um, <clears throat> what 
was the I, I would imagine, or I would describe it as the straw that broke the camel's back, was my unwillingness to allow them to pay me, or to allow from allowing them to give me money to buy health insurance. You wouldn't you wouldn't allow them to do that. All right, I have correct, Gene, and that's because yeah. it had a really detrimental effect to the case that I was making for seeing my son again okay. because of the way that the, that case was going. I could not have our finances all of a sudden start becoming intertwined where my uh, uh, expenses were a function of my parents' income because that okay. has you know, it's never <clears> been the case. Okay. And uh, I couldn't all of a sudden have it start to be that way, otherwise it would really... Were you on... Was that were because you on, you'd lose your lawyer? I, I think I'm, he represented himself. For, for the support. Or, uh, for, in the for, the, um, for, for having to pay support if you have no income... Right. Although they can they can still uh, rack it up. Have you ever had a job that paid anything, uh, any decent amount of money? Yeah. What what job was that? What uh, and how much did it pay? I'm not, like, I'm not really talking about my work history, honestly. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I'll, I'll, and you have a business, too, don't you? Yeah. Uh, what what kind of kind of business is that? I'm not disclosing. I'm not really talking about <clears throat> that because okay. I'm trying to keep my my personal business out of my business. Business is really not they're not. This is not a matter I want overlapping with my business. Business, you know. Okay. Really, yeah. I got it. Uh, Gene with a uh, a question here. Uh, good morning, Gene. Uh, good morning. Respectfully, with Mike Rotundo. Go ahead. I'm going to try to say this the nicest way possible, but you want your parents to basically support you so that you have a home and stuff, and you aren't even supporting your own son who is a child that's under the age of 18. At 30, it's time to step up. And there are all kinds of help out there so that your parents don't have to deal with this. This is supposed to be their golden years. Let them enjoy themselves. All right. Uh, Mike, do you, uh, Gene, I'm going to hang up and let you listen to uh, yep. Michael's response. Mike, do you want to respond to Gene? I have foregone, you know, buying clothes that, you know, uh, that I otherwise probably, you know, could buy and other things for myself so that I could, you know, do things like take my son skiing and, uh, and uh, just, you know, take in uh, nurture and support him uh, in in ways like that. I, I taught him to read. Uh, I think that the the fact that I that I'm not uh, any claim that I have not supported him yeah. significantly right. and been a you know a significant component of of his life. Does and, the mother? Does the mom have custody of of him now? Yep. Yes. Okay. Hey, Mike. Just to follow up on something when I asked about the offer for money. BusinessInsider.com in their story says you received a series of letters from your parents telling you you had 14 days to move out, etc. It says the third such letter, let me quote it here, the third such letter basically said, I can't find it now, it said you were, the third letter came with an offer of $1,100 and advice on how to move out. The fourth letter reminded Rotundo that he had 11 days before legal action was taken and, he, and the letter said, so far, we've seen no indication that you prepare on leaving. So this story indicates that you were basically given money or were offered money, $1,100, to, to kind of get the ball rolling on finding a new place. Do you, do you dispute that? No, I don't. And I, and I accepted $1,100. And what I would have wanted to do, I, what I was hoping I'd be able to do is I'd be able to return to them because I didn't want to accept it. But the, the $1,100 and stuff, I just couldn't, I couldn't uh, forego the uh the security that that provided me with yeah. and right. i did use it and i you know i don't regret uh using it for the, uh, the way that i did because it did help me you know in such a way where i feel i'm you know in a better standing to get out of the house okay. sooner as opposed to later how did you how did you use it what did you buy with it it's only that's only one month it's a month, one month's rent security deposit you know a little uh so that's really not yeah. a whole lot what did you what did you spend the money on though uh, expenses, the, the things I had to pay for in order to, to better my situation, so that right. you know I could move out in the future. I didn't clothes I didn't, and uh, stuff like that. Did you have to buy clothes and things like that with it? Which, no, I don't need. I don't need clothes. You don't need clothes. Um, no. Did you well, buy you did clothes? But I had clothes yeah. that worked just fine. You know. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. uh, any uh, any? What are your plans now? Um, are obviously there. You're going to have to move, or the sheriff's going to come and and drag you out of there. I'm trying to make it so that I'll have. I I don't think. I can't imagine I'm going to be here more than three months. I'm going to try and make it so that I get those uh, three months. 
Yeah. Was, uh, yeah. So you're gonna try. You're gonna try to still drag this out. I just want three more months. I, and here's the funny thing: is but, that, they, but the judge ruled yesterday you can't have. But, the judge ruled yesterday you can't have three more months. I don't. I don't recall that. Yeah, I, I saw it. Um, what, what what is your recollection of what the judge told you? Based on your understanding, what do you, what must you do? I I have to leave the house. When? Right. Well, when? Immediately. Uh, there's going to be no. There's going to be a proposed order. Okay. You, and you missed you you missed that completely. There's going to be a proposed order was, from the yeah, attorney. Right. Sorry. Well, then yeah. you're then you don't know yet. It might come and say, okay, you're. But remember, the whole proceeding. You were asking for more time, and the judge denied the request for more time. And your parents' eviction notice is that you have to get out right now. So based on the judge's order, I would conclude that any day now the sheriff could come. And uh, Now, do you still walk down the hallway to the refrigerator? That must be awkward. It's like mom and dad just took you to court, and there you are getting milk, and I hope you're not drinking out of the carton. But no, I'm not. It's my own. Good. It's my own milk. You, you okay. get your own milk, and that came out of the. Uh, how do you make money then? Uh, do you have? So you buy your own groceries? Yeah. So you don't eat any of their food. No. All right. Do you use their refrigerator? You have your section of the fridge. Yeah. This must be awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wouldn't you feel awful, though, if, if this happened to you and your son, if when your son gets older that uh, you have to take your son to court? Wouldn't that be awful? I'd never throw my son out. You would never throw yeah, him out no matter what. My son needed me to support him while yeah. you know, do doing you, things do, he needs do, to do. Do you, hate, I, you know, do you hate your parents? Yeah. Yeah. So that would be awkward, and it's uh, that's probably awkward in itself. Can I ask you have you seen a have you seen a counselor? Because it seems like this is a lot for anybody to handle. Do you see counselors, a counselor on a regular basis? No. A therapist or something like that? No. Um, do they feel that you should? Have they said, "I think you have to talk to a therapist." They have. They've mentioned that significantly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, over and over again. But um, but you're thirty. You, if you don't have. want to talk to a therapist, you don't have to talk to a therapist. What no, are you going I mean, to do? See, what are, what are you going to value in talking to somebody who yeah. is going to you know, make these, you know, glaze over my life in these ways, right. and, and I don't see the value. Yeah. Especially if it was free, I might do it, but I'm not paying for it. Sure. Why should it. you? I mean, uh, although they did pay a lot of money for their education to get the degree, and they've got college loans, I gotta kind of can't do it for free. But maybe the government would pay for it. That might be something. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, or if, or I could just not do it. Or you could just not do it. Yeah, that's possible, too. <laughs> that would save us all a little taxpayer money right there. So what are you going to do if they kick you out tomorrow? Where do you go? Is there a shelter? Do you have money that you can take a hotel? Or what are you going to do? Uh, I wouldn't know what I would do. All right. Well, you've got our number. We'll be interested to see what happens. Wayne, quickly, I'll give you 15 seconds, Wayne. Go ahead. I just want to know why does he uh, hold his parents like? Are they respond? Does he think they're responsible for him at thirty years old? And why is he there? Why doesn't he get out like a big boy and just you know start living right. your life? Do you feel that they? Do you feel because are, because they are your biological parents that it is their responsibility to take care of you? Not at all. Not at all. Um, this became a bad situation that I was that I've been trying to get out of, and uh, yeah. I you know if it wasn't for the fact that I had been, you know, fighting for uh, uh, seeing my son, I'd be in a much better situation. Understood. Uh, yeah. But if I was, you know, if I didn't have to go go through the mm-hmm. long custody uh, uh, and visitation battle that I uh, went through to, uh, well, uh, to try and can you can you uh, and, and I, I understand that, why you know, did they defend myself. Yeah. I would be in a much better situation for employment right what now. What was the ruling why you lost your child? Why why did uh, why did they say? They said that I'm some kind of nutcase. And honestly, okay. I've been looking at some of the interview things, and I'm very scatterbrained, but it was exhausting yesterday. Uh, sure. Uh, they're, uh, so they're saying you're mentally unfit to uh, to handle the child. So I have uh, like, some kind of stress started mm-hmm. like initiated i i hate to do this to you but i am out of time i don't have to kick you out of my room uh but uh, we gotta go oh you're missing out you're missing i am out. missing out <laughs> well I, you can we mike, can have you on again mike